Hello, good evening, dobroveče, dobrodošli u novu video lekciju. Bavit ćemo se danas glagolima. Pripremila sam vam 50 glagola. Treba prvo da ih prevedete sami, da se setite kako se kaže jesti, piti, čitati, učiti, uhvatiti, doći, skinuti, obući i tako dalje na engleskom. A onda ćemo zajedno napraviti i po dva primjera, dve rečenice za svaki od tih glagola, znači jedan u prezentu i jedan u prošlom vremenu. I da ne zaboravim da vas podsjetim i na moj YouTube kanal gde objašnjavam engleski na engleskom. Dakle, link se nalazi u opisu ispod videa. Obavezno pogledajte o čemu se radi, lajkujte i pretplatite se na video kanal naravno. I na tom kanalu ćete Također naći 20 glagola od ovih 50 koje ćemo danas obrađivati objašnjenih na engleskom. Dakle, proverite da li nakon ovog videoklipa odgledajte i taj pa proverite da li sada malo bolje razumete. Krećemo odmah. Ok, so let's start. The first is čitati. Čitati in English is read, of course. Read. Ok, let's use it in a sentence. Hajde da iskoristimo read u rečenici. On čita novine ujutru. He reads newspapers in the morning. He reads newspapers in the morning. Naravno, na read smo dodali nastavak S zbog trećeg lica jednina. Trećeg lica jednina. He reads newspapers in the morning. Ok, a kako ćemo reći da je juče čitao novine? Ili knjigu? He read a book yesterday. He read a book yesterday. Korisli smo isto, isti glagol, ali sam gore čitala I read, you read, he reads. A dole, I read, you read, he read. Dakle, pa simple tense od glagola read je read. Read, kao crvena boja. Read, ali se piše isto. Dakle, moramo da pazimo na kontekst. Dobro, ovdje se jasno vidi in the morning, usually, present simple tense. Yesterday, pa simple tense. Ali, nekada nemamo jasnu vremensku odredbu. Dakle, moramo da iz konteksta shvatimo da li je I read ili je I read a book yesterday. Read. Ok, let's move to number two. Number two je kuvati. Cook. Kuvati, cook. So, I cook in the morning. Kuvam ujutru. I cook in the morning. I cooked. I cooked yesterday. Kuvao sam juče. I cook in the morning. Present. I cooked yesterday. Pa simple tense. Ovdje smo u prošlom vremenu dodali nastavak ed na glagol. To znači da je glagol pravilan. I u prošlom vremenu dodajemo ed. I cook. I cooked. Number three. Kupiti. Kupiti je buy. Buy. So, she buys a lot of shoes. She spends a lot of time on shoes. She buys a lot of shoes. And she bought a new pair yesterday. Of shoes. Yesterday. So she buys a lot of shoes. Glagol buy. Dodali smo S. Treće lice jednine u prezentu. Prošlo vreme. She bought a new pair of shoes. Prošlo vreme. Glagol buy ide u bot. What did she buy? She bought a new pair of shoes. What does she buy? She buys a lot of shoes. She buys, she bought. Okay, let's see number four. Number four is sedative. Sit. So I sit in, uh, in my chair when I work. Sedim u stolici kad radim. I sit in my chair when I work. I sat On the bed. Sedeo sam na krevetu. Dakle, present simple. I sit. I sit in my chair. Pa simple. I sat. I sat on the bed. Where did you sit? Did you sit in the chair? No, I didn't sit in the chair. I sat on the bed. Seo sam na krevet. I sat on the bed. Number five. Obući se. Znači, 
to dress ili ćemo staviti ovaj fazani gagol put on, put on clothes, je li tako? Dakle, I put on my jacket, oblačim jaknu. Obući ili obući se, možemo da kažemo da je to i get dressed, recimo. Get dressed je when I wake up, I get dressed first and I put on some clothes. So when I wake up, I get dressed. Oblačim se. I get dressed. I sada kažem šta oblačim. I onda kažem I put on my pants, my skirt, my t-shirt, my shirt, etc. So I get dressed. Oblačim se. I put on. Oblačim i onda kažemo šta? I put on my clothes. Prošlo vreme od get dressed je got dressed, a od put on je isto put on. So I put on my jacket može značiti oblačim jaknu i obukao sam jaknu. Get dressed ima prošlo vreme get, a to je got, tako da se razlikuje. I get dressed, I got dressed. Obukao sam se, I got dressed. Zaboraviti je forget, forget. So, on uvek zaboravlja, he always forgets to do what? To turn off the lights. Uvek zaboravlja da ugasi svetlo. So, he always forgets, s, treće lice, to turn off the lights. And... He forgot, yesterday he forgot to turn off the lights. Juče zaboravio da ugasi svetla. Yesterday he forgot to turn off the lights. Dakle, forget, past tense, forgot. Uhvatiti je glagol catch. Catch. Catch a cold je prehladiti se, uhvatiti hladnoću, catch a bus, je uhvatiti autobus, ili voz, catch a bus, catch a cold, so, prošlo vreme, he caught a cold, prehladio se, he caught a cold, Znači, prošlo vreme od catch je kot, ta uga hata. Catch, kot. Catch a ball, uhvatiti loptom. Catch me if you can, uhvati me ako možeš. Catch me if you can. Number eight početi. So it can be start or begin. I završiti finish or end. So, Start, when does the film begin? Or when does the film start? When does the film begin? Or when does the film start? Past tense, od glagula begin je nepravila. Znači, the film began at 10. Film je počeo u 10. The film began at 10. Prošlo vreme od begin je began. Begin, begin. Od start je pravilan. The film started. The film began at 10. Završiti. Finish. So the film finishes usually at 8, at 7. The film finishes, treće lice njine film, finishes at 7, završio se, the film finished at 8, znači glagol je pravilan, što znači da dodajemo nastavak. I di, the film finished at 8. Number 10, živeti, live, gde živiš? Where do you live? 
where do you live? Ona je živjela u ovoj ulici. She lived in this strip. Znači, where do you live? Prošlo vrijeme, she lived past tense, she lived in this strip. Provesti vrijeme. Glagol je spend. Znači, provesti i potrošiti. Isti je glagol spend. So, Gde provodiš vreme? When do you spend your time? Or how do you spend your time? Kako provodiš vreme? Ili where do you spend your money? Gde trošiš novac? Znači spend. A prošlo vreme? I spent I spent My holiday, I spent the holiday with my parents. Proveo sam odmah sa roditeljima. I spent holiday with my parents. Spent, spent. Pobediti je glago win. So I always win. Ja uvek pobeđujem. I won yesterday. I won. Pobedios. Znači, I win. Past tense, I won. I won. Uspavati se. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. Znači, ajde kažemo, on zaspi. He falls asleep at midnight. Obično. He falls asleep at 12 o'clock at midnight. Yesterday he fell asleep at 11 p.m. Yesterday he fell asleep at 11. Znači, fall, past tense, fell. Pozvati. Pozvati, call somebody or invite somebody as well. Znači, call on the phone, invite to the party, invite to dinner. Oba su pravilna glagola. Znači, who calls you every day? Who calls you every day? He called me. On me je zvao. Znači, present, who calls you? S, treće lice. He called me, on me je zvao, prošlo vreme. Ili, who invites you to parties? He invited me to the party. Znači, ko te zove na zabavu, on me je pozvao na zabavu. Invite. Voleti. Love. Prošlo vreme, loved. To svi znamo. Tako, so I love you, he loves me, she loves me, we love you, they love you. I loved him, but I don't love him anymore. Prošlo vreme. Naravno, love možete da volite osobu ili neku stvar. So, I love my new car, or I love my new dress, or I love, pa neka aktivnost. I love singing, I love traveling, I love cooking, etc. Ostati je glago stay. Ostati, stay, stay može značiti i provesti. Ne provesti, nego... Te dok reći, where do you, odsesti, odsesti. Rekli smo provesti je spend, potrošiti je provesti. A ovo je stay, znači, kad kažemo nekome, stay here, ostani ovde, stay here, ili she stayed in an expensive hotel. So, odsela je, znači stay i stayed, she stayed in an expensive hotel. Prošlo vreme, stayed. Reći, say. What do you say? Šta kažeš? What do you say? Reći, kazati. What do you say? I said I wanted to eat. Rekao sam da želim da jedem. Znači, what do you say? Prošlo vreme, said. I said I wanted to eat. Znači, taj glagol say nam često 
ga koristim u tom indirektnom govoru, znači kad hoćem da prepričam mu što je neko rekao i ovde pazimo ako je on u prošlosti, onda i ove sljedeće morad ide u prošlost. Znači rekao sam da želim, nije I said I want, nego I said I wanted to eat. Ići, go. He goes to work on foot. Ide na posao pešice. He goes to work on foot. Yesterday he went by bus. Juče išao autobus. Znači, goes, present simple, treće lice. Prošlo vreme je went. How did he go yesterday? He went by bus. He went by bus. Postati. Become. Become. So she wants to become a doctor. For example, želi da postane. She wants to become a doctor. He became rich. On je postao bogat već, blago njemu. He became rich. Znači, prošlo vreme je sa a. Become, became. Zatvoriti. Close. So, close the door. Zatvorit vrata. He closed the account. Zatvori je račun, recimo. Znači, close the door. Glagol je pravilan. Prošlo vreme, he closed the account. Idi. Zaključati glagol lock. Lock. Znači, she locks the door when she goes out. Of course, she locks the door when she goes out. She locked him inside her apartment. Znači, she locks the door when she goes out. Present simple. Nastava kest treće lice jednine. Prošlo vreme, she locked him inside her apartment. Zaključala ga u stanu. Možda slučajno nije znala da on ima ključ. She locked him inside her apartment. Odlučiti. Decide. She decides what to buy. Znači ona odlučuje šta se kupuje. She decides what to buy. He decided to go. Odlučuje da ide. He decided to go. Znači, S treće lice, decides, prošlo vreme, idi, pravilan glagol, he decided to go. Otvoriti, open, so open the door, otvori vrata, he opened the window, otvori je prozor. Znači, glagol open je pravilan i prošlo vreme dobija idi. Ono što često greši jeste da ovo open može značiti i open. Otvoren. Znači, kad je u funkciji prideva i ne kažemo the door is opened, nego the door is open. Nema id. Id ima ako je glagol u prošlom vremenu. He opened the door. Ok. Ali the door was open. Vrata su bila otvorena. Poslati je glagol send. So, I send him him an email every day. Every day I send him an email. Znači svaki dan mu šaljem email. He sent me flowers. On mi je poslao cveće. He sent me flowers. Prošlo vreme, nastavak. T, nije nastavak nego. Send, send t. Obećati. Promise. So, he, I promise, da kažem, I promise to come, obećavam da ću doći, I promised to come, obećao sam da ću doći. Dakle, u nastavku ide tu plus infinitiv. I promise to come, obećavam, I promised to come, obećao sam da ću doći. Treba ti double need. Znači, šta ti treba? What do you? You need. What do you need? He needed. Prošlo vreme. 
my help. Trebala moja, moja pomoć. So, what do you need? He needs my help. He needed my help. He, did. he needed my help. Koristiti use. I use my laptop every day. Znači, koristim svoj laptop svaki dan. He used my laptop yesterday. On je koristio moj laptop juče. Znači, pravilan glagol. I use my laptop every day. He used nastavak the He used my laptop yesterday. Pitati, ask, odgovoriti, answer. Ask and answer. So, he asks a lot of questions. On postavlja mnogo pitanja. He asks, he always asks a lot of questions. He asked me to come. Znači, ovaj glagol ask može značiti i zamoliti, pitati i zamoliti. Recimo ovde, he asked me to come je u smislu pitao me, zamolio me ako mogu da dođe. He asked me to come. Ask for help, kad nekoga molimo za pomoć. A odgovoriti answer. He answers in uh, instead of her. On odgovara umjesto nje. He answers as, treće lice, instead of her, I answered his question. Ja sam odgovorio na njegovo pitanje. I answered his question. Nastavak id. Pravilan glav. Prati wash. He washes his car. And she washed her hair. Znači, on pere auto. He washes his car. Nastavak treće lice. Prošlo vreme je pravila glagol she, what did she do? She washed her hair. Oprala je kosu. She washed her hair. Pozajmiti. Borrow and lend. Jel tako? Znači, dva glagola imamo. Ako pozajmljujemo od nekoga, to je borrow from. So, I borrow books from him. A lend je nekome, neko nešto daje. Znači, he lends me his books. Znači, u suštini isto. Iste su knjige u pitanju, samo što je ovde I borrow from him. A he lends me, on meni daje lend sa S. I borrow books from him, he lends me his books. Past tense of borrow is borrowed. I borrowed books from him. Znači, prošlo vreme bi bilo borrowed sa ID. A lend sa T. He lent me some books. Pisati write I write an email a day. Pišem jedan mail dnevno. I wrote you. I wrote an email to him. Napisao sam mu mail. Znači, I write an email a day. I wrote an email to him. Write, wrote. Prošlo vreme. Opisati, describe. Describe. So, I want to describe my stop uh, this I want to describe my feelings znači mogu da opišem svoje osjećanje I want to describe my feelings and he described it to me on me to opisao he described it to me so easy Poručiti je order. So I order food. And he ordered, ordered food. So order također može značiti i narediti. He ordered me to come. Naredio me da dođe. Order, ordered. Past tense, idi. 
spavati, sleep. So he sleeps a lot. On mnogo spava. He slept a lot. On je mnogo spava. He sleeps a lot. Sleep plus S. Srećenici jednine prezenta. He slept a lot. Prošlo vreme od sleep. Slept. Piti. Drink. So she drinks only water. Ona pije samo vodu. She drank water. Pila je vodu u prošlo vreme. Znači she drinks only water. S, treće lice jednine. Uvodi she drink. She drank water. Prošlo vreme od drink. Drank. She drank water. Popraviti. Možemo neći fix or mend something or repair something. I svi su pravilni. I fix, I mend, I repair, I fixed, I mended, I repaired something. I'm not good at repairing, fixing things. Govoriti, speak. So he speaks German. And yesterday he spoke Italian. So he speaks German. S, treće lice jedine. Past tense, he spoke Italian. Spoke. Dogoditi se, happen. So, it happens every day. Dešava se svaki dan. It happened yesterday. Dogodilo se juče. It, treće lice jedine, znači it happens every day. It happened yesterday. It, it happened yesterday. Raditi work. Where does she work? Gde ona radi? Where does she work? They worked hard. Oni su radili vredno. Where does she work? They worked hard. Plus tense. ED. They worked hard. Trčati. Run. He runs and he ran. Znači past tense je nepravilan. He runs every day. He ran yesterday. Jesti. Eat. She eats a lot. Ona mnogo jede. She ate a lot yesterday. I eat, you eat. She eats. So S. She eats a lot. And she ate a lot yesterday. Past tense ate. Tražiti. Look for. Look for. She is. This time of continuous. She is looking for you. She is looking for you. Ona te traži. She looked for you. Tražila. She is looking for you. She looked for you. Posetiti, visit. Can I visit you? Mogu li da ti dođem u posetu? Can I visit you? He visited Berlin. Posetio je Berlin. Visit and past tense visited. He visited Berlin last year. Misliti, think. Misliti ili razmišljati. So, I think... She is at home. Mislim da je kod kuće. I thought she was at home. Mislila sam da je kod kuće. I think she's at home. I thought she was at home. Znači, prošlo vreme od think, thought. Slušati. Listen. She listens to the radio. In her car, for example, Susha radio, she listens to the radio and she listens to him. Susha la je njega. Usually, she listens to the radio. Obično Susha radio. A yesterday, she listened to him. Past tense, she listened to him. Pomoći. Help. Can you help me? Možeš mi pomoći? 
He help me on mi je pomog. Pravilan je glavno. Can you help me? He always helps me. And yesterday he helped me. He helped me. Upaliti, ugasiti. Znači upaliti, turn on. Ugasiti, turn off. Pravilni su glavni, znači turned on, turned off. And you can turn off the lights, turn on the lights, turn off the computer, turn on, kao switch on i switch off. Turn it on, turn it off. Čistiti, to clean, clean, she cleans the kitchen every day. Čisti kuhinju, he cleaned the car, očisti auto. So, she cleans the kitchen. Tretjelice, she cleans the kitchen, she cleaned the car, or he cleaned the car. Očistri auto, he cleaned the car. Ok, 50 smo odradili, nastavljamo dalje sutra. See you.